Looks like Dracodios hasn't left his side. Today is a day of great celebration. A day to offer up our thanks to God. But first, an announcement. Luis is dead. The royal family's murderer has been put to justice. Now much of the kingdom's trust lies with me. Even this king-defying lance is safe in my hands. I would not see further bloodshed in endless, futile conflict. Is it not past time for reconciliation and open dialogue as a newly forged nation? He's talking as if the race is already over. What about deciding the winner? All but a formality now, isn't it? His eminence has the overwhelming majority on his side. Better to establish peace now and crown Sanctivex for them. No. He would end the tournament here and now. So he's just going to call the race while he's ahead? How convenient. But the throne's decided by the king, not this tournament. Forden only had to abide by that when he had Luis to compete with. If he ends this while he's this far ahead, we won't be able to reverse it. Oi! The game's not over yet, you cocky bastard! We only seek to submit to the will of the people. Though you would be wise to quit the race with all speed. Forden for the throne! Then we will finally have peace! Hail His Majesty Forden! Long live His Majesty Forden! Damn him. The people already believe him the victor. Tournament won or no, his dominance will soon be unshakable. Let's go. We reclaim the lance now! Now? Are you out of your mind? If he's going to keep it close to hand, we'll never have a chance to swap it out. We'll have to take it by force. We have no choice. If there really is no other way... <laughs> so you were after this lance all along? Loyalists, indeed. How many more candidates must die by your hand? Uh, his muggler is horrific, distorted. It's sickening. What did you? How dare you, you pagan wretch! You would steal this holy lance for your own vile ends. That alone is treason against the kingdom, you filthy assassins. Assassins? Then we're in good company. That night, you were the one behind the attack on His Royal Highness. You framed Luis for your crime and banished him from the palace. Do you deny it? <laughs> Precisely the sort of baseless claims I'd expect from desperate sinners. Baseless, is it? In that case, shall we produce proof of your treason? <laughs> you waste your breath. What do your words matter now? The royal family is gone. Luis is dead. Only I remain. And only I am fit for the throne. You vile traitor! You call his eminence a traitor? Preposterous! The Sanctivex is incapable of such deeds. Your Majesty Forden, punishment to the disloyal. Judge these ruffians with your divine lance. Behold, the flock has spoken. Those who defy me are to be executed. Before you die, know that I am in your debt for killing Luis and handing me the crown. <laughs> Del, what the hell's going on? I thought the prince's curse was supposed to be off. It's clearly not. The prince's assassination, the whole lot. It was all the Sanctists, it was all that bastard pulling the strings from the start. Wait, is that...? You! Identify yourself! <laughs> Who are you? We're at a festival. 
Should we not be festive? Oh. I've come to meet you. Forden. Reese? Impossible. How could you have survived? <laughs> not that it matters. It falls to me to finish the job, then. Coming here sealed your fate. Hell awaits, and this time I'll make sure you stay there. Face your divine punishment, Louise! But... but why? <laughs> it appears your sins outweigh mine. What have you done? That lance is counterfeit, just like you. <laughs> this is the true lance. <sighs> you snake, Louise. Sanctifex Forden. No. Impossible. Nothing to see here. The festival is cancelled. Cancelled. Tell Lord Luis is alive. What's going on? Good people. You have heard the truth with your own ears. Forden was the vile mastermind behind the Prince's assassination. For casting his sins upon me, for seeking to usurp the throne, I have passed due judgment. A tainted Sanctifex is unfit to rule. What's the matter? You seem lost for words. Are you... You're supposed to be dead. In a sense, yes. Then how? How are you alive? Forden's own attendant confirmed your death. Forden's attendant? You mean that fellow? No! Zorba? Back at the Grand Cathedral, I ordered the dead to recover my body if the need arose. I had always intended for Forden to die by my hand, and the first step in his downfall was Zorba's infiltration. Impossible. The lance pierced you through your very breastplate. It did indeed. And frankly, I'm still impressed. Few could land such a decisive blow. No against me. But I'm afraid fate was on my side, not yours. Mortal anatomy is my speciality. I knew at first glance that the wound was deep, but the heart was intact. Lord Luis is destined for far greater than this, so I devised a plan. I would proclaim his death and deceive both Forden and his flock. After that, it was simply a matter of magically regenerating his flesh overnight. <laughs> Only a fool would expect him to die in such a place. I could have emerged as soon as I'd healed. But where's the theater in that? Today is a day of celebration. The least I could do is offer a fitting death out of mercy. Why do you have the real Lance? Wasn't it supposed to have gone to Forden? Wee bit slow on the uptake, eh? I just told you, I was present for the inspection. It was hardly a difficult task to swap out your counterfeit. So you knew the truth of it? No. Have you always been ahead of us, ever since the moment we thought Zorba dead? A holy lance, a convincing crop. What does it matter? Had I truly died, it would simply indicate that I was never fit for my ambitions. Power is the only true arbiter. Behold the proof. Forden lies dead, and the lance is in my hand, just as planned. You let us do as we pleased, even knowing the risks. You're insane! Indulge me a question. You stole the magic formula from me. 
Surely you soon learned that it was useless. That's why you then resorted to killing the caster. You were desperate to lift the spell. Is that not so? In other words, the curse's victim still draws breath. For that reason, you sought to kill me even amidst this competition, even with the difficulty of the king's magic in your way. So, his venerable highness, the prince, survived. Where is he? Speak or die. How quickly the Sanctus break rank and flee. Their flock left to die. This is Sanctism. No! Stop him! Don't! value do they have to you? It's not that! This is just wrong! It's wrong, me lord! I see. So even you two have faltered. This world is power. With it, you can take whatever you want in this life. Or so I thought. Tell. But you know, if all the weak get left behind, who's left to protect them? <laughs> I've been an idiot. Sorry about that. <coughs> Stop talking, Del. I see it, you know. Our little diner. Music in the air. It's grand. Look after Lady Juna. Uh. Huh? Hey! Tell? Tell! Pitiful! See what Brotherhood earned them. Ugh. Lord Louis, that's what it all comes down to for you, yeah? The strong are right, the weak are wrong. Doesn't matter what you were born into, there's fairness in that. We saw you as our hope, 
We thought that if you had a proper strong fella on top, he'd be able to put a stop to all the meaningless discrimination. But we had it wrong. You're no ray of hope. It doesn't matter to you. Killing anyone, it doesn't make you feel unclean. You. You're the kind of cold-blooded bastards we ain't more than anything! Do not concern yourself with this peon, Lord Luis. With my newfound power, I shall tear them limb from limb! <laughs> this way! Guards, hurry! Step aside. You have important work to do. Seize the criminals who murdered his evidence! We didn't do it, but we should probably still run. Basilio, come with us! Shut up! What about Del? You saw what that bastard did to him! I will not let you die in vain. Your brother didn't do this so you could get yourself killed. For now, please flee with us. Shut! Come, make haste! Oh, welcome back. It went about as well as could be expected. We wanted something nicer for his grave, but they told us something like that's reserved for Sanctus tradition. You can expect little else in Aldebrae. I apologize for not being present. We've just gotten ourselves out of the public eye. If we had gone as a crew, worst case, we'd have been turned in. I wish we could have mourned him at his home. It had to happen in the lap of the Sanctus Church of all places. I hear the Parapists typically prefer a more joyful send-off, with singing and celebration. It's all right. Us soldier kids could never afford to be too picky. Tell knew he couldn't choose where to snuff it. The fact that you were there, Lady Juna. That's enough for us. Basilio. Best to leave him be for a while. He's just lost the only family he had. By the way, have you checked the Farsight Mirror? The curse might be. Unfortunately, it still hasn't lifted. I guess that means it was someone other than Forden after all. But Forden brazenly admitted that he had been the mastermind. Luis was innocent of that crime, at least. Someone must have cast it at Forden's command. Unless we can find and kill them in time. Ah, damn it all! We have more pressing problems at hand, don't we? Now Luis knows the prince is alive, surely that's far from ideal. The village is deep in the forest. It's not an easy place to find, even if you're looking. Going to the Prince's side could be dangerous, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. But even if we sought the real culprit, we no longer have any leads to follow. If I might make a suggestion, perhaps we should visit my sister again. She may have some insight on the Sanctus Church's past, but that's tomorrow's concern. As for tonight, we could all use some time to rest our hearts and minds. Oh, look at you, kid. You look near dead yourself. <sighs> Tell? Tell? What? <laughs> Seems you made it out in one piece, though. Are you alive? But back there, you... Don't tell me you pulled some bloody trick. Just like Luis. Bloody hell, Tell. I... I, I thought I... Basilio, sorry. From here on, you're taking the lead. But why? I can't without you, I'm... Tell, I only made it this far because I followed you. <laughs> Don't give me that. You're the strong one. Me, I never knew where I was going. Basilio, protect the weak. Swear you'll do it, not for me. 
or for yourself. If you can do that, I'll always be with you. Tell... Don't give me that look. Well, this one's goodbye for now. You ready? <laughs>